The USS Arizona is coming to War Thunder, so let's see what Gaijin has sailing your way. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to War Thunder's website. I am Old Dead Man, your host. Today we're looking at uh, one that's going to be pretty tough for me to, to really think about here. Uh, the uh, Arizona is a pretty tragic history there, and um, it was it was a, it's a bit emotional to research it and put together even just this short summary of this uh, of this great ship. The USS Arizona BB thirty nine was a Pennsylvania class super dreadnought battleship built for the U.S. Navy. She was designed to be significantly larger than the preceding Nevada class and utilized an all-or-nothing armor arrangement protecting only the vital areas of the ship. As built, she carried a primary battery of 14-inch guns, a secondary battery of 5-inch guns, and 3-inch anti-aircraft guns along with two submerged torpedo tubes. This arrangement would be changed several times during her short period of active service. The USS Arizona was ordered in March of 1914, launched in June of 15, and commissioned in October 1916. While she served in the late part of World War I, she was kept stateside, leaving only to escort the U.S. President Woodrow Wilson to the Paris Peace Conference in 1918. Her service in the 1920s was interesting, though with no major conflicts, allowing her crew to do things such as compete and win the Ban Battenberg Cup. A lot of training missions were carried out. She was also sent to Turkey to moderate tensions between Greece and Italy. One interesting side note, kind of an interesting one I've never heard before and bumped into while I was researching this. Uh, in March of 1924, a prostitute was smuggled on board for the trip from New York to San Pedro, California. When this unauthorized individual was discovered during a brief stop off of Balboa, Panama, uh, about a month into the journey, she was put ashore. 23 men were court-martialed, and all officers on the ship received a reprimand. Yeah, some years later, someone a, uh, a uh, some brass decided to go ahead and strike those reprimands, believing they were too severe uh, for those naval officers. It was modernized in 1929, continuing service throughout the 1930s, including an appearance in the 1934 James Cagney film, Here Comes the Navy. She also collided with a fishing trawler, the Umatilla, resulting in two deaths. More years of exercises and training followed. She was scheduled for overhaul in Washington State in November of 1941, but a collision with the Oklahoma resulted in damage requiring dry docking at Pearl Harbor. She was returned to service with her last sortie being a night fire exercise in December 4, 1941. On December 7, 1941, the USS Arizona was sunk during the surprise attack on Pearl Harbor by Japanese forces. Ten B-5N2 Kate torpedo bombers dropped their payload on the Arizona, scoring four direct hits and three near misses. Only 11 minutes separated the alarm to general quarters and the bomb detonation in the forward magazine that ripped the ship in half. 1,177 of the 1,512 man crew were lost. The ship was decommissioned on 29 December 1941 and stricken from the naval register one year later. The sunken remains were designated a national shrine in 1962 and a memorial was built above the ship that is open to the public today. The name of the USS Arizona has been announced for a new Virginia-class submarine, continue, continuing the tradition of the name in the U.S. Navy for years to come. This also marks the first time the name has been assigned to a U.S. naval vessel since 1941. This ship has such an amazing and yet short history. Uh, this is one of the, uh, this is, it's been really emotional researching and putting this together, even if this is a short summary, which could, you could go in for hours about the, everything that happened to the USS Arizona. Suffice it to say, um, 
this is a, a an amazing vessel to be adding to the game. The USS Arizona was 608 feet long, 97 feet a beam, with a draft of 29 feet 3 inches at deep load. She was powered by 12 water tube boilers driving four steam turbines into four shafts for a top speed of 21 knots. Her armor was around 13 and a half inches on the belt with bulkheads and barbettes around 13 inches, turrets around 18 inches, and 5 inch armor on the decks. The primary battery in 1941 was 12 14 inch guns and triple mounts, 12 5 inch guns as a secondary battery, 8 5 inch anti aircraft guns, and an additional batch of 450 caliber M2 Brownings added to the very top of the mainmast. The torpedo tubes had been removed, and that space had been divided to help prevent flooding issues. She was crewed by 92 officers and 1,639 enlisted men. In War Thunder, the USS Arizona will be arriving in her late configuration right before she was sunk, joining the U.S. Rank 5 Blue Water Naval Tree. So what do you think of this storied vessel being added to... War Thunder. Is this an exciting one for you? I have to admit, uh, it, it's it's an emotional one for me. And while I figured the ship would always be coming, uh, it's definitely a, a one that uh, that deserves every bit of respect and reverence that we can provide for it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up. I appreciate knowing that you guys like my videos. You have a great rest of your day, and we will see you on the waves in War Thunder.